goodness. Oh, look, it's a piece of cake. What are you? Are you? A, oh, you are a little jar. See, now this is the stuff that gets me in trouble. Try me. I'm trying you, Groot. I'm trying you, but you're not working. Uh, it's probably like, a, oh, who makes like a Luminark or Arcarock room decor pieces. Are, they can't all be in there. I know. I see the turtle. Oh, turtle yours. Very cute. Okay, I am at Savers. Not one of my favorite places to shop, but I'm here because I need to keep my finger on the pulse of what's happening in the Savers stores here in Vegas, as well as the Goodwills, because that is how I can kind of look at what's going on in my own store. So I have a goal here. My goal is to find five, five items that I can make at least a $20 profit on. That's the goal. And to not put anything in my cart that's going to make me less than that. That's going to be tough. But I can do it. And uh, we're going to get in there and we're going to see what we can find. So let's get shop done. All right. Let's go in and get us a lucky cart. I think it's going to be this one. I don't know why. I don't know why. That one just called to me. I did remember to look this time to see that purple is the 50% off color. So we'll keep an eye out for purple tags. Let's see what else we can find. Sometimes the art can be very, very profitable. That is so cute. But it's a print. It's not actually the uh, little tapestry there. If that was actually needlepoint, that might be a good item to pick up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What are you? Little shadow box thing. Tough as a turtle. I wonder how old that is. Does it say on it? 2014. 2014. Okay, I'm a little disadvantaged today because I, I did a really bad thing with my poor little finger. I, uh, <laughs> I had a piece of glass that was slipping out of my hand and when I just like kind of I I don't even know what it what would you call the motion I made to save it I ended up jamming my finger down on the desk and uh yeah it hurts <laughs> it hurt really really bad I don't think it's broken but it's definitely I'm definitely feeling it <gasps> oh my look what I found down here well this would not be for resale you know that my carry is a uh, hardcore uh, Buffalo Bills, but that's not Buffalo, is it? Or is it? No, because it says Boise State. They wear the Buffalo colors. Okay, that one fooled me. It fooled me. It is not Buffalo. This is kind of a cool, like it's like a decoupage 3D kind of a thing by Jose. That's really quite nice. Hmm, that's got possibilities, but you know what? I, I, maybe, that's a, that's a maybe. That's a, it's not really like, you know, saying buy me, buy me, buy me, buy me. It's just kind of nice. So, all right. I didn't find anything spectacular in the art. So we will come over here to the tchotchkes and things. We've got llamas, those are not very high end. So I'm keeping an eye because I sold some Santas that were possible dreams was the name of the maker. Now this, this guy, as soon as I got up on him, I could tell he's just a little resin guy, but I wouldn't have guessed that those things were worth as much as they are either. This is a dance. It's a nice little, is it meant to be a candle holder or did they just plop a candle in there? I mean, it would make a nice candle holder and it doesn't have a price. I don't really feel like that is high end enough though. I think we're gonna keep looking. We will keep looking. Ooh, that's Sooner Glass. Sooner Glass in a cobalt blue, which is a 
Definite plus. Ooh, $40. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That made that decision. If I could have bought that for $10, I would have picked it up. Because at $10, I can flip it for at least $30. Hey, good, for, good for savers trying to get that. I don't think they will. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if it's still here, you know, in two months from now when I come back here. This is a beautiful conch shell. Now, if it was larger, it would definitely already be in the cart. I wouldn't even be questioning it. It's not a super big shell, but it's not a common conch either. This, I think, I think they call this like, um, ah, I want a something helmet. At 549 is not bad. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and pick that up because these kinds of shells can bring some pretty good money. And if not, I'll keep it. And what's this pretty little guy? That is an old piece. I can tell by the way that little impressed mark is there. The little pin marks, the firing marks where it would have set to dry after being glazed. This is a nice little old piece. Is it a $20 profit piece? I don't know. But I, here's where I'm going to fall apart. <laughs> I can't leave this behind. This is a beautiful old antique piece of porcelain that has potential. So I'm going to pick it up because my brain can just not stand to leave something like that behind and give it the possibility of, you know, getting broken or not appreciated like it should be. This is 89 Jimmy Knapp. I don't know who Jimmy Knapp is. That's a painting on a canvas. I mean, that is so 80s, 90s art, isn't it? The pastel colors and kind of the Native American theme. It's got a little damage, so I am going to leave it. And I'm going to peek at this Hello Kitty purse here. Hello Kitty. Let's see what you're priced at. $7.99. So in order for me to make a $20 profit on that yeah, I would have to sell for at least 30 bucks I'm not so sure I'm not so sure I'd be more comfortable in like the five dollar range paying for that so I think I will leave it behind I will leave it and what are you that's an interesting old tile definitely has some age on it somebody just put kind of one of those sticky hanger things but this has some real age on it. For $4.49. Yep. I'm going to grab that one. What are these little postery things down here? They're with, they got brass hangers, which is interesting. But they're just kind of like scenes. Hmm. Yeah, they don't excite me piece of art pottery there nothing too yeah nothing grabbing me on that those look like Fitz and Floyd pretty sure they are 450 each it's like harvest bounty or something is the the pattern and they're all covered up of course yeah, I don't know. Fitz and Floyd is one of those things that's kind of, uh, it's fallen down in value because there's a lot of it out there. Oh, look, there's another mermaid tail. Yes, I did give Carrie the other one. So uh, I think I'll get her this one too. Oh, goodness. Oh, look, it's a piece of cake. What are you? Are you, oh, you are a little jar. See, now this is the stuff that gets me in trouble. Because I could sell this for at least 12 to 15 and make some money on it. But that's the stuff that I'm getting in trouble with. So look at me walking away. If anybody else is shopping here at Savers, well, it's a 12 to $15 item. Cute little gumball jar, but it was only $5 to begin with. Look at that. All right. What are you? The Marauder's Map. Ooh, the Mar oh, from Harry Potter. Oh, that looks interesting. Open it up and you've got 
authentic prop replica. You know what? We're going to look this one up. Well, this one's a little bit of a quandary. There are some that have sold for ridiculously high amounts of money, but they came with a wand. This one doesn't come with the wand, but I don't think at $3.99 I can go wrong. Let's see, I see this sweet little plate. Oh, it's got a, like a little built-in decorative little thing. That's weird. <laughs> Carousel horse trivet. Oh, I do like the strawberry jar. Very cheap ceramic though. Oh look, there's two of these here. Go up here with your friend. Let's make you a little setting up there. This piece of glass is just a uh, Chinese art glass. It's interesting, but it's definitely, definitely not going to make me my $20 profit margin. And this is the type of thing I would probably would have picked this up if I really needed inventory um, because this is cool. This is vintage. I forget if it's coconut that they use for this. It's kind of it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat, but I'm gonna leave it. But I am spotting something over here. This is cobalt cut to clear glass in like a rose bowl. Now it does does have some chipping right here on the inside, but you know what? At five ninety nine, I think I'm still okay on this piece. Oh, here we go. It's even got the uh, label on it. It's a Gottinger. It's uh, made in Romania, so it is Czech cut to clear glass. That's still a very nice piece, even with a little bit of damage. So I'm going to grab that. Here are these butterfly boxes. $3.49. I know these are not $20 profit margins, but they are pretty spectacular. And I know my live sale people would be so mad at me if I did not put those in the cart. So yes, I'm gonna make an exception here. Uh, 350, yep, yep, I have to grab these. Man, what's this piece? Oh, it is a shade. I usually will pick these up if there's like two or three of them together, because they do sell well, but people generally don't want just one. Mister, it's Mister the cat. There's a nice old rolling pin. I'm looking for a marble rolling pin to go into my rolling pin display piece at the store. Just because. Oh, well, hello there. Hey, you are separated from your friends. Now, I've got a quandary because they are $8. So let's see if you're a name, if you're a Pier 1 or a Pottery Barn or crate and barrel because that's where the real money is. You know what? I might do a little Google image search on these and see if they're a particular maker because eight bucks is a little more than I like to spend on these, but it can still be very, very profitable. So stand by. I found a set, a pair for sale for $40. So, and I would, I would think that they would sell for 15 to 20 a piece. So at $8, that doesn't give me my $20 profit. So I am going to leave these behind. So if you stay to the end of my videos, I do a recap at the end and I tell you after I've done my research, how much the items I put in the cart are worth. So you will see, I don't know why, but I am in love with these candles. They're so pretty, but no, I don't burn candles. I don't eat, I can't store them all summer and wait for to put them out. I mean, no, Danny, no, you can't do candles. Unfortunately, can't do candles. Love candles, just can't do candles. A lot of people go, why? Why can't you do candles? Because with candles, they do put off um, stuff into the air. The soot and the things that come off of a candle can be deadly to birds. So we are super hyper protective of all of our birdie flock in the house. We have a lot of birds. <laughs> so bougie is just one of many. There's bougie and then we have three cockatiels and we have two lovebirds and then we have a plethora of parakeets. So they are all very very important to us and we protect them at all costs. Oh I thought for a minute that was a fairy lamp. What was I thinking? Oh it's a little vintage shade. So it would have gone over a light bulb hanging from the ceiling like that. 
Very sweet, very sweet. Oh, goodness. Box. I don't see anything else on this shelf. I'm getting ready to take another trip to San Diego and something very exciting is going to happen while I am in San Diego. I can't give the te details yet, but if you are not subscribed, now would be the time to hit that button so that you can be notified when that special something happens. I'll give more details soon, but it's happening this month. This is an ideal, ideal doll. She's very, very vintage. She's $9.99 though. I don't know who she is. This one looks like a Madame Alexander to me. Let's see. It's usually under the back of the neck. Oh, she's a horseman. She is a horseman doll. You can see the mark there. 82. She is also, she's $10.99. Those are nice dolls. If you deal in dolls, those are actually really nice vintage dolls. This little baby doll over here, uh, it might be a horseman also. Interesting to see. I don't know what's going on with this doll right here. I don't know why there's a clump of hair over there. This one is Jolly, Jolly something, 1960. Oh, oh, I bet. Okay, I bet that little froof down your face is just supposed to be like that. I'm not a doll seller, so I will leave those for the doll sellers in the area that can come by and pick those up. I do like the frog prints. Little girl, I don't like her for $7.99. Who makes you? Green tree. Yeah, unfortunately, $7.99. That's a bit much to pay, but those are super cute. Those are vintage dishes. Who makes you? Got a JSA is all that's on there. Oh, USA. It's not JSA. USA, Danny. Come on. Come on. I don't know. Sometimes it can be on the dinner plates and not on anything else. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's Royal China Jeanette Jubilee. There it is. That is just a really happy pattern. A little, uh, what do you call that? It's um, a perpetual motion kind of a thing, but it's missing one of its dealy bobs there. And it's plastic. A little deceiving. It didn't look like plastic, but it was definitely plastic. What are you? A little Stein. Oh, it's musical. Musical Stein. These have never excited me, and I've never done well with them. This has a Hager look to it. It is. Look at that. It is a Hager. They're asking $15.99. See, I think that might not be a bad price, but I'm going to look up and see what this particular Hager is going for. Well, ouch, this is only selling for $30 to $40 now. That's a shame. It used to be a lot more. I would probably pick it up if it was um, on half price. So if you're here and that's half price, that'd be a good pickup. These are uh, little hand-painted project pieces. B. Eichner did these. Very cute. Very cute. Named them all. They all have names. Doing their little Scottish dance there. Got some giraffes. Are you like stone critter giraffes? I feel like you are. Do you have a mark on the side? Let's see if this one. This one feels different actually. Oh, there it is. DJ 83. So they are vintage, but they are also $6.50 each, so no $20 profit there. Try me. I'm trying you, Groot. I'm trying you, but you're not working. Little owl. See, figurines. Figurines are a tough sell unless there's some spectacular brand. His, his Hispana? Hispania? Yeah. And she's got like broken petals and stuff. 
Yeah, people are not doing figurines anymore. So you gotta be careful about picking that kind of stuff up. This is marked Dansk. I wish it wasn't 650. Uh, but we're gonna leave that one. Those are cute. Wonder what their purpose is. They're just little decorated sunshine cans. There we go. There's another giraffe up here. He's like a ceramics project. He's $8.49. Oh my gosh, this pig. Okay, so you might remember a few videos back, I picked up a whole bunch of pig stuff and I'm gonna be doing a pig themed whatnot sale soon. I don't know exactly what day, but soon. Uh, unfortunately, this guy has a broken ear. If he did not have the broken ear, I'd probably be picking him up. They have a lot of fake plants and flowers here. I'm a little bit drawn over here. They look like something you'd buy at Ikea. Ashland, $4.49. That's not bad, that's not bad. Is it, oh, he's supposed to be like a hedgehog. Is it my $20 profit margin? I don't think it is. I think we're gonna be good and we're gonna leave those. Check out the baskets. There can be some good things in the baskets. And I'm always looking for things I can use for display pieces at the store now, too. Because lots of things need to be kind of contained in like a basket. But then there's this guy. Whoop. Who are you? You know, I can't, I can't leave a turtle behind. And I spotted this piece. I do believe that's a flashed on color on there or stained. And it's not a very high quality piece. Even though it does say France, uh, it's probably like, a, oh, who makes like uh, Luminarch or Arcarock make pieces like this. Just not my $20 profit margin. This, oh, Teleflora. This is very, when I picked it up, it's like, oh, that's very lightweight for what it is. Somebody made a comment about how lightweight, heavy, sometimes you want it lightweight. Sometimes you complain that it's, you know, too heavy. And the thing is, it depends on what the object is. So. If I'm going to pick up a piece of pottery like this, I expect some weight. Weight would tell me it was a little bit better quality in a piece like this. But if I was picking up a piece of fine porcelain, I don't want weight. But this, I do want weight. This is Delft Blue Holland. Unfortunately, it's got that big chip. And Delft Blue is another thing that is kind of just gone down in value. And that's mainly just a supply and demand. A lot of people are listing it for cheaper prices, so there's just this downward trend. Uh, all the resellers who follow like eBay suggested prices will be driving the prices of things down that lots of resellers are finding. Whereas everybody, if everybody just kept the prices up where the value should be, in my opinion, people would pay those, those prices. But they don't have to because their sellers following that pricing guidance of eBay, which is not good for our collectibles and glass market. Like this piece is really lightweight and I would expect that to have a bit more weight to it. So for instance, if you come across a glassy baby candle holder, it has weight, especially for its size. And you can just feel the quality and that's what you're looking for. You want to feel the quality. Look at these room decor pieces are they can't all be in there is it all oh i guess it is oh look how cute those are all right we're in the office supply section here let's see what could possibly be in here that we might need dog dog tug toy and collar kit i feel like that's something rachel would like to make but she's got plenty to do right now. Oh my goodness, there is a very loud speaker right over my head that I have to get past. So I'm going a little fast right now, forgive me. But it's not a very exciting section either, so it's all good. All right, we skim through the kitchen stuff. Pretty quick. We're looking for things that are kind of out of place that 
don't belong in this section that might be worth taking a peek at, but I don't see anything today. All right, let's look over in their metals section and see what exciting things behold us. This looks like a dare to her, to her, however you say it, it is 1971. These can be pretty good. I'd like to pick them up at yard sales for, you know, like a buck versus the $4.99 that Savers has them at. And I don't think I have any discounts today. I'm not coming on a discount day. This is Tollware. Hand-painted fine arts. Yeah, this is a nice piece. Unfortunately, they put that sticker right over the thing. So the way to get that off is to heat it up, very gently heat it up, and then peel it so it doesn't take off any of the paint. That's a really pretty vintage piece in really good condition. I think I'll grab that. This is what I tell my kids every day. I like this sign. Find this for me. Well, not for me for them to put up to remind them. Okay. I feel like that music got louder. It always makes me wonder, are they doing that? Just to kind of be brats. They see me filming. I don't know. It always makes me wonder. Master class premium. Can, what would this be used for? I mean, that's cast iron, but I'm not, I'm not sure what it's for. And this, I know what this is now. This is a set of um, napkin rings on, <laughs> on a spool kind of thing to sit on the table. Uh, but it's missing one, unfortunately. I have sold that before. That's how I knew what it was. All right, nothing else in the wood. Always got to check their little end caps. Look how sweet that looks. Look, it, it has the... Looks like it has the little uh, like dish towel or something laying in it. WMG Ceramics. That's really cute. I just don't think it's my uh, profit. I think that's a $15 to $20 piece. And we have these little dessert dishes and the dessert bowls. Definitely, this is another example. I would expect this to have more weight than it does. It feels very cheaply made. That looks like it also has potential to be a Fitz and Floyd, although I'm not seeing the quality I would expect. Yeah, it's a made in China piece, but it almost had the look. It's this little guy here. Oh, nothing exciting. Oh, goodness. We got some clear glass bowls and trays and things which I always do give a really good look into because I'm looking for EAPG, which is the early American press glass, the stuff that's like a hundred years old. How fun is that? Look at this cake stand. It's like a peppermint that's feet shaped. It's four side. I might, I might look that one up. All right. I feel like this is about a $30 piece, so I'm going to pick it up. Oh boy, I just looked at the clock and I'm running out of time. So I have got to get through the rest of these shelves and get myself home to do my live sale, which happens every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, yeah, and I'm having company over tonight and there's so much happening today, but I do get caught up in my shopping. Ice cream sandwich molds fun. I, I think I bought these ones before and we never used them. And let's take a peek. You know, I love me some little cloches. $5.49 is not a bad price. This is genuine teak. It is a vintage one. Needs a little doctoring. I do believe Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas, though, is the master at bringing this wood back to life. So I might get this and then ask for a little help from her on this. I'm going to do it. It's piqued my interest just because I have several of them. This is A and E something. All right. Not, not super duper exciting. I'm at the point of looking for super duper exciting now. 
Well, I mean, I'm always looking for super duper exciting. Like maybe Arthur Court? Are you? Let's look for an Arthur Court. Nope, not signed at all. Darn, it's got the look and it's got the feel. And oh my goodness, my poor little finger, that just really hurt. I bent it, I bent it. <laughs> I hate, I hate being injured. Don't have time. I don't have time for injuries. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys can uh, relate. Too much to do. No time, no downtime. No, there's downtime. No downtime for injuries, that's what I meant. Okay, I thought this was Deruda, so uh, this is made in Italy. It is Deruda. I don't know if this would have had another piece with it, but I know in the past I have done really, really well with this maker, and I am going to pick this up for $4.49. Something that's important to remember if you shop at Savers is they are not a nonprofit, so they charge sales tax. So if you have registered your business uh, and have a, a tax exempt certificate for purchasing merchandise you can use that at savers these are italian these are pretty nice for 249 each so there's one two just gonna make sure none of them have chips three yeah and four okay oh man that's a bummer I was thinking that if all four of them were good, I could get about $40 for the set, but nobody wants to buy a set of three these days, or at least if they do, it's a very long haul to, to find that person. So sadly, I'm gonna leave those. What is that? What is that? It reminds me of the glasses, you know, that are like the planets. This has a nice feel to it, even though I know it's not expensive glass, but at $3.49, that's a great decorator piece. And then this one's only $4.49. It looks like slag glass, but it's not. This is, it's not a high-end glass, but even at like home goods, I bet this was in the $20 to $30 range. Oh, look what I found. <gasps> I found one that's not chipped. Oh, so there are four in good condition. Look at that. Let me just find the one that I'm going to leave behind. Yes, I am going to leave one of them behind. I am going to do it. I'm going to leave the broken one and I have, I have trouble doing that, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to grab the four good ones at $2.50 each. Oh, I love when things turn out that way. These are cute little bowls. Denmark. Tools for cooks. Huh. Those are really cute. Okay, no, I'm gonna leave those. I'm gonna leave those. Keep moving. Look at these guys. Be strong, be kind, be sweet, be you. Those are really sweet. They're small. They're very small, like little espresso mugs, but they're only five bucks. We'll grab those. All right, quick skim down the pots and pans. See if we see anything. And that's a no. Same thing on the plastics. I'm not even gonna look real hard for any turvis. I'm just gonna quickly skim and see if there's anything that just really grabs my eye or is out of place. And again, I see nothing. Those are pretty plates. They look like Amari. They at least have Amari colors. They probably are Amari. I don't read Japanese. Those are some very, very nice plates for $3.99 each, but I am not going to pick up dinner plates this time around. Just can't deal with those right now. We're gonna go through here. Giraffe mug. You're kind of cool. Hmm, not a $20 profit margin though. I did, however, spot this Mickey Mouse mug. Once upon a time, Disney Parks, Mickey Mouse. Now, probably a 15 to 20 
Uh, so it's not quite at my $20 profit margin, but it's a super cool. And I do need to get things together for another Disney whatnot sale. So I'm going to grab this. Okay, let's see if there's any other pieces. Nothing in the mugs. See if there's anything in the glasses. I'm I'm gonna pass. You know I do like my cactus glasses, uh, but those are two fifty each. I like to get them more in the dollar range because they don't sell for a whole bunch. Let's go over here and look in some of the larger items. See what might be hiding over here. I'm still looking for some particular vintage lampshades. If I find them, I'll know them can't even explain what I'm looking for but it's in my brain I know I know what it is <laughs> no exciting lamps no shelving no clothing racks nothing nothing that we have to have over here oh I do like to give the toys a good once over toys can just be a treasure trove if you find the right ones especially Disney stuff those do look like Mickey Mouse ears, right? But I don't quite know what that is. Oh, I'm looking for vintage mostly. Vintage or just, you know, high end. And I don't see anything here. And then, of course, our plush. We're always looking in the plush for cool stuff. Camel. He's not, he's not very great quality. Oh, there's one of those monster guys. I think these are good. I don't remember. Jordan turned me on to these ugly dolls. Yes, ugly dolls. Three fifty. We will get the large ugly doll for three fifty. I know. I see the turtle. Oh, turtle yours. Very cute. We don't really collect plush turtles though. That would just not display well in my house with all that is going on. Four fifty for little uh, piglet. I think he's probably maybe the most like a twelve to fifteen dollar piece at the most. It might even be less than that. Again, because there's a lot, there's a lot of Disney sellers who have just kind of followed some misled pricing advice from eBay and have just uh, ditched the prices down to nothing. Unfortunately, so you got to find the things that haven't fallen prey to that. And they're out there. There's a lot of them out there still. All right, as I finish up, I must look through the purses. Savers probably has the biggest purse selection of all of the stores. And I have found some pretty awesome purses to resell in the purse selection. I just don't have a lot of time to go through them today is the problem. So it's gotta be something that just really grabs my attention like this macrame looking little purse. And I already got the crochet one and everybody was very much in favor of me getting that little crochet one. So I think, even though I don't like paying six, I still feel like that. Ah, it's not $20 profit though. This is probably like an 18 to $20 purse. So here's where I rustle. Here's where I rustle. Do I get it? Do I not? Mm, it's got a little name in it here. It's made in China. You know what? I think I'm going to pass it. I think I'm going to pass it. Oh, just so many purses to look through. And I just don't really have time today. So, I mean, look. Look at little Betty Boop. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute five bucks I just recently sold another it was a little bit bigger than this one uh, but these little vintage leather purses are quite desirable so for five dollars I am gonna pick this one up okay I've got to get home I've got to call it a day so stay tuned for the recap I'll tell you everything I bought how much I paid and how much it's worth on the resale market and you'll find out if I did my items that made $20 profits all right that's coming up right now.
this is what you call cutting it really close. I literally have got to get home and make sure everything's good to go for my live sale that starts in 30 minutes. And it's about a 15 minute drive home. I can do this. This is, I think I run really good on tight, tight uh, time margins. I think I have my whole life, even in school. That report was due the next day. I was getting it finished the night before. I, I don't know. I don't know what that is about me. I don't know, but it's okay. Hey, I feel good. I got it done. I got my video shot that, uh, well, you're seeing this on the day, obviously, that it goes up, but I had no other time to shoot this video, so I had to go shop. That's what I do. All right. I did find some really good things. I made my $20 margin on most of them, and uh, I'm pretty happy. So uh, with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.